for fuck's sakes. <laughs> I did the exact same thing again. For some reason, when I um when I change scenes lately on OVS, my microphone is getting muted, and this is a a new feature, I think. So I don't know why that is, but now I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> So anyways, what we're doing is we're playing Breath of the Wild now, and earlier we were doing an hour of German lessons, so that's kind of the new schedule for our stream, is that before most streams, so from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock Pacific, um, I'm going to be doing some IRL stuff, like learning German, and we're probably going to add some other languages, we're going to do some French and probably some Spanish too. Um, but for now, we are playing Breath of the Wild, and let's just press continue. Like I said, I really didn't remember what we were doing last time. Tell me how the audio is. Um, should be the same as yesterday. Nothing really should have changed. But it's nice seeing you guys again, and um, Raza, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Oh, I should tell you guys that. Um, I'm going to type into the chat here uh, to tell people to refresh the page if they don't see me. There we go. So we're in Kakariko Village. What were we doing here? Okay. Game's looking okay? Good. <sighs> I love the sounds here. Let's see, what did we do last time we prayed at this thing? You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power, but you do not have four spirit orbs. Oh, this is where we turn in um, the orbs. I remember that now. We turn them in and then we chose whether or not we wanted stamina increase or health increase. So one thing that I thought about after I stopped playing the other day is that I really wanted to get some more clothes. And I found that these ones were super expensive, but I'm pretty sure that I never looked at all the clothes. <laughs> hey, Danny. Ooh, Hylian tunic. Common garb that achieve widespread popularity, particularly among travelers. It's light yet sturdy fabric. It doesn't limit movement. Oh. So I could probably get that. I can afford it. It's only 120 and it gives one to three. I guess we'll get that. <laughs> TNT Nitro, first time on my stream. Welcome! Okay, I'm gonna pour some more tea. Zelda or her German is pretty bad. Well, I expect it to be pretty fucking bad. Oh, there's something else that I need to adjust here is that um, my stream labels program is not really updating properly here. So I'm going to open it again. See if that works. So um, our top donor of the day is Little Derpy right now, and I'm going to just write his name on our mug here while I remember. I can't draw um, your uh, user picture, even though I like it. Maybe I could try. <laughs> There. <laughs> You're gonna like this. <laughs> okay, so thanks. That'll look great on you, really. Hylian Hood, that costs 60. We can afford that too.
Oh, see you later, Benjamin. <laughs> and how much do these pants cost? 90 and I only have 30? We're okay then. Um, okay, so to put this on, I just go equip. Ooh, that's very cute. And then now we will put on the hood there. Oh, cute! Oh yeah, and the other thing I did too is I switched it um, to make the alternate um, controls. So Y now is attack, B is jump, um, and it feels more natural, actually. So the other thing that we were doing in Kakariko Village is we were trying to collect this guy's cuckoos for him. Um, and I also remember another thing too, is I was also trying to catch, collect apples, so that apples, um, so that I could put um, apples in this, in these little bins here. Um, so how many apples do I have? Um, five apples. So is that five slots? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, great. Let's put them in there. Just have to really gotta try not to eat them instead of hold them. One there. Because I did this um, on another shrine, and something popped out and it gave me something, even though I can't remember what it was or if it was even worth it, but this takes no time at all. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <gasps> One more. All right. Oh! Something happened. Yes! Oh, right, the Maraca guy. I remember this. Hmm. The Korok. That's what it was. So I have to collect Korok seeds and give them to this guy that has the Maracas. And what does he give me? I think he increases my um, storage space of um, whichever section I choose. And I'm pretty sure that I chose... Swords last time? I just don't remember. <laughs> oh, fuck. Your eightfold blade is badly damaged. Let's do some cooking because um, I have a bunch of stemella shrooms and I would like some more useful health restoring things here. Um, oh look, I do have one spirit orb still, so I need to get three more today to make that shrine happy. Iron stream using the cooking up. Uh, okay. Armored Staminoka. <laughs> what if I should just combine these and do them separately? We'll just start by holding those and cooking those two meats together. A meat skewer. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Something to restore four or three hearts. Now let's try cooking two of these chickens. <laughs> Link ist einen Apfel. Yes, Thanadir. <laughs> I don't think that we've got two pronouns yet, have we? Acorn. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. No, don't eat that. How about let's hold one of those and then we'll cook it with um, an armored carp. And what else would be good with that? A stemella shroom will make like a multi-ingredient dish. You never knew cooking made those sounds. You must be doing it wrong. <laughs> Ooh, fish and mushroom skewer. Very, very cute. Deutsch ist, ist nicht so hart. Does that mean is not that hard? Ooh. wonder what's in these. I need more rupees because I would like to get a better outfit. Um, I need to still be able to afford those pants. We gotta find this guy's cuckoos. 
Um, and I think there might have been a temple above Kakariko that I haven't gone to. Just yet. That's what that means. Pronouns? R, C, and S are so... Oh, pronouns. Oh, I meant, um... Not pronouns. Proper nouns? <laughs> Hey, what's this guy doing? Pick and go. They say there's a great fairy fountain. Oh my god, we have to go find that. We talked to this guy already, though. He's not... He doesn't know the exact location. If I were a great fairy fountain, where would I be? Um, I would be behind a mysterious waterfall. Yoink. Oh, I'm gonna grab so many fish here. Now that I've learned that you can just grab the fish instead of, um, bombing them, I'm a lot happier. <laughs> nope. I can't win. Honestly. With looking behind waterfalls, we looked. I need a stamina. Food. Um... Low level haste. Uh oh, I'm pretty sure that I made one that had stamina increase, otherwise I'm gonna die right here. Guess I have to eat Stamella's streams. Oh shit, if cooked. <gasps> Do I have anything for stamina? I could have sworn I did it. Increases your defense. Increases your movement speed. <laughs> Link schwimmt. <laughs> Increases your attack power. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're dead. Unfortunately. Link's gonna drown and... <laughs> Fuck. Okay, well, at least we got to start there. So there was nothing behind that waterfall. How far into this game? Um, not really that far at all. I just got to Kakariko, basically. <laughs> That's a can obliterator. You would try five item recipes like a combination of spicy and bitter and sweet. Are you talking about in real life or in this game? I want to go up the hill to that temple. We could just travel to it. So I think we press that and... I'm going to look for more cuckoos. <laughs> Glad you like my ears, little derpy. Did you see my mug? I couldn't tell if you were here when I showed it off. Hmm. Hey, Splat Pack Gamer. <laughs> Link, air trinked. Yeah, Nick, were you combining those words or is that a word? So, have we done this already? It's blue, so I think that means that we have. How much to have your name written on your cup? You've already got it. The name being written on the cup is just for the top, uh, top donor of the day, but I'm not sure why that's not working today. Very, very weird. All right, so yeah, we've done this one. This is the one where we were practicing against that robot. Um, practicing parries and stuff. Air trinken means drowning? No way. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry, Obliterator. Looks like Nightbot thought that was a link. I'll add you. Just tell me what your username so I know which one to add. Hey, Fuera. When am I playing Warcraft again? That's tomorrow, Joseph. Excuse me. This is a new area I don't think that I've been in. Yeah, we haven't discovered anything in here yet, so be prepared. Whatever about the technicalities, can you write the name Iron Maiden instead of your name? You sacrifice your name for Iron Maiden? Okay. <laughs> we'll change it. And then people will think that Iron Maiden came to watch the stream. <laughs> there isn't very much space. We can put a heart underneath. <laughs> Link, Link's Awakening is the oldie Zelda game that you played, and that was ages ago. How long or after that is this game story set in? I am definitely not the one to answer that question, but I'm sure there is a Zelda nerd in here that will be able to. Oh my goodness, what? in tarnation is this <laughs> those are fairies and i think this might be a fairy fountain i don't have any way to capture these things i think i have a bottle here but does that mean that when i use that i'll get to keep the bottle i don't know i got nothing Maybe I'll receive one soon. Okay, great pumpkin. <gasps> boy. Sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. Sure. I am the great fairy Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. Don't we all? All I need is 100 rupees. Oh, come on. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly in order for me to regain my power. I can just give her some. What's this? You don't have enough rupees? How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we gotta find rupees, and we'll try to do so by collecting a bunch of plants, and maybe I can sell these. Ooh, Silent Princess. This lovely flower was said to have been a favorite of the princes of Hyrule, once feared to have gone extinct, is recently been spotted growing in the wild. What about if we go up here? Can he climb it? Oh yeah, look at him, he's a pro. Oops, not a pro. Oh. Probably nothing up there anyway. <laughs> hey Muffin Man. Yes, this is the new Zelda. Uh, Yin Yang, a video FAQ? There is, a uh, some FAQ. You want to think of some other questions? You can let me know. Hey, Nico Stratus. Okay, Obliterator, I see your name there. I'll look out for it. So we gotta get some more money. Um, what if I go and steal this hair on? Oh! You can't watch, you're gonna get this game. Okay. Let's see if I have. I don't have any arrows. Oh, fuck. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I broke it. Well, at least it died. Um, the blade broke doing something semi useful, which was missing 
um, a hog. I've thrown two very good blades off of a cliff so far. Let's go to town. <laughs> the game volume is low. Thank you for telling me that. Let's turn that shit up. <laughs> Can't sub your channel at Twitch Prime. It's a pity. It is not time for that yet in the future. I didn't see how to grab those fairies. They were running away from me. You like Vancouver Island Horse? Yeah, it's such a nice place. And those fairies are gone now. <laughs> Thank you, I'll try. <laughs> You've been there for four months last year, you're missing it. Yeah, it's it's definitely nice. Though we did get a ton of snow, uh, so it wasn't that nice this year. You think Link looks like Ezio? <laughs> yeah, I just got this hood. So he is a little assassin now. Twenty-five centimeters of snow tomorrow in Toronto. Oh my god, that is a pity. <laughs> oh, there's a kook. Let's get him. Get over here. Right into the cuckoo nest with you. Uh, DJ Z, previous stream. The sound is off when you speak. Um, it, it could have been just off for a, a minute when I forgot that my microphone was muted. Otherwise, sometimes YouTube takes a while to process a live stream after it's made um, into a video. It could be that. How many more cuckoos do we need to find? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think just three more. I think there was ten. Yeah, ten total. Okay. Oh, an eight in there. I wonder where they could be. Anyways, I have some stuff to sell, so... Um... Is this a place that you go to sell? Oh, this is a weapon place. Or no, it's a chicken place. Hmm, he really likes to draw them. Aww! That's really cute. He's like trying to breed the ultimate chicken. Let's try this one here. Hey, Mateus. Another one of these little frogs. I haven't found the significance of these yet. Um, if play the solo from Iron Maiden. I can't play any um, copyrighted music, otherwise it'll um, be muted afterwards, and I don't want to deal with that stuff. <laughs> ah, here's another cuckoo. Just one more we need to find now. Just throw him right into the wall. He has to breed the kraken? <laughs> what? Oh, I thought this was a chicken, but that's a person. Mm, this is a carrot store, so this is probably where we can sell some stuff. Hey, Trista, aren't you tired? Don't you hate talking to weird customers? Aren't you chilly? Have you eaten yet? <laughs> hee hee, stop being such a worrywart, you old coot. That's cute. Ah. 
Yeah. Oh, welcome. Oh. I tell ya, my mister only has eyes for me. He loses his focus with everything else. Don't mind him. Browse as much as you'd like, or you need something else. I want to sell. Hi, Paul. So what's this worth? 10 rupees each, 5 rupees each. Oh, I know. We can sell some of the horns and other stuff, I think. But these dishes are worth a little bit more. Not very much, though. Um, don't want to sell any of the fish. I would like to sell the wings and the horns, but they're not worth very much. These eyeballs. Um, these are pretty common, so I'll just start selling these guys. Because I really need the money to give to the fairy. And I'll sell the wings too, but those are pretty much worthless too. Uh, Ruka camera is off right now because his light burnt out. Ice keys. We'll keep that one because it's a bit more rare. Um, valued as a component in decorations. So amber, I don't really think that that's worth very much to me right now. Oh, there's the horns. I was looking for these. Boko Blin horns. Sell all of them. And also the horns from this guy, I think. Too hard to use for cooking, but stores are willing to buy it from you. It can be also used to make elixirs. Okay, now we almost have enough. Um, I still need to get the pants, and I think that those pants were 100 rupees as well. Um, but I'll sell just a couple more things so that we can get all of them. And this is a sneaky river snail. Um... When cooked into a dish, it heightens your senses. And these blue nightshades, these were really common. So I'll sell all of these. And that should bring me, oh, 56 rupees, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, little Zerpy. I would, except for that one issue. Ah. Hey, I want to cook. Oh. Put some ingredients into a pot and cook them up good. You can use the one outside if you like, really, I don't mind. Ah. Uh, what are they going to recommend to me? Oh. Let me think. Well, everything I sell, really. But if you want specifics, there's always swift carrots. My mister grows them. They put Kakarika Village on the map. Actually, to be honest, there's one other crop Kakarika is known for. Fortified pumpkins. That sounds good. <sighs> I'd sell them here, but you see my mister and the pumpkin farmer, they don't exactly get along. So if you want fortified pumpkins, you'll have to get some straight from Olkin's Patch. Ah. Okay. Do you need something else? No, we don't. But look at Boko Blin Guts. Ew. It convulses on its own every now and then. Goat butter. Mm. Bird eggs. Oh my god, what if we could make a cake? Swift carrot. What's with the awesome bunny ears? Um, there's really no reason. Spring. <laughs> uh, Unag. Uh, yes, I did attend, and I don't really want to say specifically. But I took a wide, wide variety of stuff. This was the... Oh, uh, what was her name? always forget that lady's name. She, the Sheikah. But what the hell? I always want to say Uma, but <laughs> something else. Okay, let's get these pants. 90. Hylian trousers. Very cute. That NPC is so weird. Oh good, 7-9. This is going to help us quite a bit, because we were getting our ass kicked before. Alright, we need to find one more cuckoo. We need to go to that fairy. So, where was that? Did it get marked? I think it was just right over here. Cake, cake. 
I can't wait to make a cake now. Maybe it was this way. Ooh, that may not have been it. No, I think it was back this way. <laughs> you don't like this game, Adam? It is not a Zelda fan? Really, I swear there was another way. I think I had to jump down, so it's probably up here and then behind the temple. The dubbing must have been great for the actors. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, here it is. Maybe down here. Okay, we've got your 100 rupees. <laughs> you are too kind. Ah, the power. Oh, it's overflowing. The great fairy, oh my god, I wonder what it's gonna look like. <laughs> wow. Kotera. Oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Hmm, huh? what's this? You don't have any clothing that I can enhance? Really? Let's take a look, just to be sure. Megan, you're awesome. Please tell your fans to listen to Iron Maiden's song called Power Slave. That guitar solo is amazing. The whole song is amazing. You have my <laughs> respect, Megan. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you very much, little derpy. That's super, super sweet. And um, I will tell everyone watching then to watch or listen to Power Slave by Iron Maiden because the whole song is amazing and that guitar solo is amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much, little derpy. You're very kind to us. And you are on the mug, but you have chosen to right Iron Maiden here instead. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Happy Freezer. Let's take a look just to be sure. Okay, let's take a look. Um, oh, I just sold my Bokoblin horns. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I sold them all. I have to go kill 15 Bokoblins again now? Ah, <sighs> okay, that's fine. Aww. Going already? How unfortunate for me. See you later. I like her makeup. <laughs> and her hair and her outfit. <laughs> Much better than the old great fairy fountain. Um, where she was just like a... A weird, like, polygony, pointy lady. Okay, one sec. I've got some chalk all over my fingers. Should wipe it off. <laughs> Hi, Simon. <laughs> you know, you just noticed that I'm not wearing a striped shirt today. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, but it is the other style of shirt that I tell you about. This one. With the buttons. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so we need Bokoblin horns. The fairy woke up your dog and now he's all over you. <laughs> uh, Keith, no, I don't have any amiibos. I'm gonna put a mark on the map for this. Oh. I think it's on there anyway now. A Henley shirt, exactly, Mr. Happy. Henleys are my favorite. Uh, pause up, I use the C920, the Logitech. Ooh, a stag. I see something sparkling here. What could it be? Acorns. Oh, nice. So right now we're on the hunt for Bokoblins. And we're heading into No Man's Land, but I wonder if it's going to even let us go here. Oh no, this is simply just unexplored terrain, I think. So there's a puzzle. I think. Try Magnesis and grab that one. And I'm thinking it wants me to make it match, so I need to fill in this hole right here. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's one of these guys again. Yeah, you found me. Uh, yes, Adam, it's my first playthrough. <laughs> bye bye. Girl is calling. You'll still follow with one eye and ear. Okay, see Akiba. Uh, Sadix. We don't only play the Witcher here. We do other stuff. Uh, is that a book, Koblin? That's a... Okay, let's remind ourselves. Um, we need to change to a better sword here. I do have a boomerang, but I tend to lose those. Ooh, guardian sword. That's awesome. Okay. Nice. Maybe he has a horn we could steal. Yes. Bokoblin fang and Bokoblin horn. Good. <laughs> Lanai Road, Westgate. <gasps> I got a fairy! Oh my god. That was just hanging out there. I love this sword. It's so strong. Whoa! Hylian rice? <laughs> Let's talk to this dude right here. Grumble. Mm. About a year ago, I was walking along the road here at night when I suddenly saw a blinding light in the sky. When my eyes finally adjusted, I found myself looking at a shimmering object floating it overhead. I couldn't look away. The next thing I knew, I was bathed in light. When I came to, I woke up in a bed covered in sweat. Oh? Goo, what do you think about that? Sounds like a dream, or we could say nothing. I'll just tell him straight up, you sound nuts. <sighs> At first I thought it was just a bad dream, but the bed I woke up in wasn't my bed. It was a bed full of liquid in an empty room, and when I looked in the corner, there was a weird glowing device. Oh shit. And when I touched the device, I was overwhelmed with a feeling of familiarity. When I came to, I was here. Who is this? What do you think about that? Oh shit, that's exactly my story. Does that story sound familiar? Highly and champion? Oh, oh. <coughs> Your story ends here. Oh, you this son of a bitch. Kayla, we're gonna kill him. Oh, these guys. Oh. There we go. Got him once. Oh yeah, you're dead. He left a sickle and a banana. And rupees. Sweet. So let's drop some of our melee weapons so that we can pick up this sweet sickle. Uh, we don't need the Boko Club, maybe. Rusty Broadsword, that does six. Bokoblin arm. Definitely will drop that. 
Cool. I had a feeling it was going to be one of those weirdos. Hey, there's a little thing up there we should go look at. What could that be? <gasps> oh, hey. Get back here. <gasps> Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh my god, electric bats. You can only drop items, not sell them. Uh, no, you can definitely sell them. I just... What the... A little tree. Oh, I see him. I see him now. Now you have something to cut grass without damaging your good sword. Oh, I should use the sickle, hey? Eh? Much better. It's precisely what it's for. <gasps> High tail lizard. Nice. Okay, there's the little flower. <laughs> now where did he go? I heard it. <laughs> where did I get that sword? I think I got it from a temple, Flynn. Hey, who is Sinkowski? Sinkowski raiding my YouTube channel right now? <laughs> Tell them thank you. Where the heck did that little flower go? I don't even know what it is or why I'm chasing it. But it seems to be heading in this direction, so we'll keep going. <laughs> you guys thank Sin Sinkowski for me for sending you here and if you guys like my stream and you like Breath of the Wild I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on this video helps me out very much also a sub and a follow <laughs> okay let's go get it it's all the way up here is this game worth a switch how long is it well I didn't buy the switch I got um, I have the Wii U version so I can't say if it's worth the switch or not. The troll flower. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little blue one. Yeah, you feel me. Korok seed, excellent. Your game crashed for the first time yesterday after 40 hours. Was it recoverable? And was it on the switch? Hi, Pedro. Oh, no. So I got it already for him. We're leaving him up there. <laughs> Alright, so this is um, undiscovered terrain. So I don't really want to go here yet. Um, I do want to go to see this stuff. What can I do if I select it? According to Impa, the Sheikah Slate Zelda... Uh... Free the Divine Beasts... Use the map to find the location of the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab and its director. Okay. Um, so, yeah, your crash was on the switch. It autosaved just before, so it was fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd be really upset if that were me. But is the switch okay? Cricket! 
So right now I'm just hunting Bokoblins. I really have only run into one Bokoblin skeleton and got one horn, but I need 15. So I might have to actually transport back to um, one of the previous temples that I had done before reaching Kakariko. Because uh, I remember there was a ton of Bokoblins there. So this is Len Nayu Road. And right now I'm heading back, I think. You've heard that you should put a screen protector on the switch. People are putting in the dock and getting scratches. Yeah, I heard that too. That really sucks. This looks like a Bokoblin. Definitely is looking like one to me. Two of them, actually. So let's equip our guardian sword, and then I'm also going to equip the bombs. Get one. Oh dear, don't do that. Not that either. This is the one that we want. Yeah, toss it there and try to blow them up. Um, All I did was blow up the boxes, so that wasn't good. Oh my goodness! I better eat something really fucking fast. And actually, I think that more than likely what's just happened here is the fairy saved my ass, so that sucks. And I broke my guardian sword, so this is really garbage <laughs> fighting these guys. Um, Angular, Discord work. Um, what do you mean? Does Discord work? It works pretty well. So we got guts and fangs. Roasted bass, nice. Uh, yeah, this is on Wii U. Spiked Boku Club, let's actually compare that. See if it's good. Boku Club does 12, that's decent. Um, I'm gonna throw away this Boku Club and pick up the other one. Oh, awesome, an arrow. What the? See you later, Thanadar. Can't break that. The rupee's stuck in the wall. This is a cool area. Kind of spooky, though. Reminds me of WoW. <laughs> hey, Grey. Adam, what am I drinking today? I'm drinking um, Earl Grey tea. <laughs> Let's blow up these things. There's another Bokoblin. Perfect. Uh, right now, I'm using the gamepad risk. I was using the pro controller uh, before, but for some reason today, it's kind of acting up. Oh shit, here he comes. He's gonna stab me. That really doesn't work well on them. Oh shit, wrong way. I'd like to try to beat him with his own club. Or shoot him. Hey, what the? Where'd he go? Did you just see that? That made absolutely no sense at all. Okay, what if... Instead of using the bombs, I was using another ability on them. Mm, like... Magnesis. I wonder if I can use it on these. No. Oh, that box behind him I can use it on, I think. Mm, maybe not. How about Cryonis? Can I use freeze a Bokoblin? No. Don't forget about your lock on button when fighting. Thank you, I did forget about that.
And I want to use my best item on him, too. Okay, I'm going to try using the boomerang. That's not the boomerang. Oh, shit. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> that worked. That was nice. How was my German lesson today? It was good. We learned some new words. Do I do off gaming screen things like in a room doing whatever like jumping jacks or pranks? No, I don't really. I just for now I'm just doing some German learning. So can I actually, s oh, I can slice with this. Oh. <gasps> Shock arrow is nice. I really like to explode these boxes. Yep. Because we got a roasted bass inside of them. Oh, whoa, that almost hit me. And apples came out of it. Apples. <gasps> Shrine nearby. <laughs> Wonder where it could be. This is such a beautiful area. Could be at the top. Or we might have to drive this. And there's lots of bad guys in the water here. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, I hate these guys. I really don't like these spastic lizards. Run, Ling. Oh shit, run. These guys are so spazzy. Watch this. I might have to use one of these on them. Oh wait, soldier's bow, spiked book of bow. How do I change arrows? Because I would love to use those shock arrows on this asshole. Oh, electricity! You know what? If I shoot them in the water, it will um, electrify the water around them and maybe kill the other ones. Let's see what happens. See you later, Una. Oh my goodness, look, it worked. Come at me. Whoa. Smack him right in the face. No! Oh, I hate it when they fall in the water like that, because if I jump in there too, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to get out of there easily, so I might have to use the raft. Okay, we're going to shoot this little guy jumping in the water here. Having way too good of a time for what I'm about to do to him. <laughs> that was great. Now let's see if he wants to fight me. Come on. Whoa, he can also spit, I didn't realize. <laughs> oh! I just did that to myself. And somehow I didn't die. How do I get him to come out of the water? Do I really have to waste another arrow on him? Maybe. Oh my gosh, that didn't even work. And I actually think that he's stuck in the floor. Yeah, he totally was stuck in the floor. That's why I couldn't get him. Oh, there's some weird shit with this game sometimes. Lizelfo's Talon, Spiked Boko's Spear. Um... So a spiked, oh, it gets rid of the spiked Boko's club. 
see how good the spear is. Okay, so I did see some other stuff in the water, and there is a temple around here that we need to find. We'll see if we go a little bit further over here. If the beeping intensifies. And I see two bokos up there. Oh! Uh-oh. Hey, look at these little frogs. Tireless frog. Oh, maximum stamina, nice. Hot-footed frog. Okay, let's get out that big leaf. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to use that. <laughs> I'm not really much of a pranker, <laughs> little derpy. <laughs> at all. What? I don't come by those arrows? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, we're gonna head back then. Hi, Pablo. And instead, I'm going to use the map to go to... this Hadamer, and then I'm gonna take this road down and try to see how to get to this place. Hi, Red Walrus, how are you? So there's the stable. <laughs> I keep forgetting, I, I have to actually go and pick up my horse if I want it. Um, and I've left him up in Kakariko here, so can I select him? And I can't call him either. So I do have to get another horse, I think. Hi, Mario. And there's some stuff over here I can look at. I can just take this wood. There, I wonder if they'll just let me get on one of these horses. Nah, I have to go and catch one. So I'm going to set a waypoint here for myself. I'm pretty sure that I can just set one of these there, yeah. And I should be able to see it in the distance, I thought. No, maybe not. But that is the direction that we're going in, so. We'll just head towards that tower right there. I see some horses over here. And I can gather parts from this guy. But I will take out my sickle actually to cut this grass so I can collect things. Nothing there. Yeah. Wow. I feel like I thought those were going to be extremely rare, but I've already found quite a few of them. Hi, Sebastian. Thanks. And I'm also going to unequip my electricity arrows because they seem pretty overpowered for right now. Where are they? Yeah, we'll just put the regular one back on so I don't accidentally use it again.
<laughs> Megan, do this. Buy the hottest hot sauce. Here is the money. And put it on your BF's food. Record his reaction and post the video. <laughs> Thank you very much, little derpy. I am really, really not interested in doing those kind of videos. Um, but I would eat hot sauce myself and do it on stream. Um, so let me know if you would find that acceptable. <laughs> we have to block this um, guy. So thank you very much. That's extremely generous of you. <laughs> thank you very much, little derpy. Because <laughs> I'm the one um, making the videos, so I wouldn't want to force that on him. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're from Quebec, Mario? Nice. Oh! That's the one! Okay. So I have to move far enough away from him that he shoots something at me, but then I can come back at him. There we go. Now we got him. <laughs> Where are you from, little derpy? I can't remember if you told me before. I just love cutting the grass in this. It's so fluffy and lush. Hey, killer moth. And sue me down. Hey, illusional. That's looking like a pretty good area over here, yeah. So I see just one or two of them. You're from New York. How much to eat the hottest hot sauce on video? <laughs> well, I think I have sriracha. I, l I love spicy stuff. It's very easy for me. I like eating wasabi treats and wasabi crackers, anything wasabi flavored. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of swords right here, actually. That's gonna roll right over to him. Blow him right up. Wow. Traveler's Claymore. Wow, it's a whole bunch of free swords. Oh my god, they can just pick them up. Please don't pick those up. Uh, am I playing World of Warcraft again? Yeah, tomorrow. You can't wait for the next WoW stream? It was so fun. Yeah, it's gonna be good. We're gonna do more of those Battlegrounds things. And dungeons and stuff, just everything. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think so, little derpy. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. I don't typically do the things, tasks for, um, for money. Actually, never. <laughs> Except maybe, like, dancing. <laughs> or dabbing. <laughs> Let's get rid of these crappy swords. And then we're gonna get those traveler's claymores. Uh, woodcutter's axe, I'll drop that too, that sucks. This other stuff's okay. I would like to keep one spear, one boomerang. This club's garbage, too. Now let's get what's in here. Double axe. Excellent. And we'll pick up these traveler's claymores. I think they should do the trick. Did anything weird happen in the game yet? Um, a guy was, like, stuck in the ground when I was fighting him, but that's about it. Okay, there's the Bokoblin horn. I fought three of them. I'm looking for all their horns. 
<laughs> Thanks, Koguma. If you want, you could help or help you with some gold. A lot of people have offered, and even though I was saying no to help before, I've started taking it now because it's it's actually pretty fun playing with people. Um, but no, don't send me any gold or anything. I some people have already sent me gold. I have enough. I just didn't want to be like crazy rich to start in the game and not realize the fun of the grind. But I got, <laughs> I did a lot of fun grinding stuff already. <laughs> hey, Kenny Roberts. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd be into that, to do that little derby. <laughs> Just looking for treasures in this area, because it's like, there's a whole bunch of discarded guardians everywhere. Oh, I see more Bokoblins over there. We're gonna get these guys. Something weird happened last night when you were playing on the Switch? What happened? Okay, there's the Bokoblins. There's the horses. We gotta kill them. All of them. Oh. Don't mind me. Okay, didn't autosave, so we can be a little reckless now. I have no arrows, but I do have this. And that's probably not gonna do anything there, actually. Uh, I have never played Bloodborne, no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so, Little <laughs> Derby. <laughs> That's not my thing. I would like to throw a spear at this guy. I'm gonna try to do that. You find this game frustrating, Cashman? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can hit him. Oh, that sucked. Alright, I'm just gonna have to just run straight up to these guys and, and kill them. <laughs> Let's equip this better shield, though. And I'm gonna eat one of these skewers. This is a hasty mushroom skewer. It's a low level movement speed boost. So that might be useful. Let's try to eat that. All right. Oh, and also I'm gonna put on the better sword. Uh, the ax or one of these claymores. I think these claymores are two handed. So I'm just gonna keep the sickle on. Oh shit, here they come. I wanna try to gank them and get them to come over here. Oh fuck, that was a lot of health off. Um, probably gonna die fighting these guys. Welcome back, Mimi, how's it going? <laughs> Will fire arrows cause the structure to burn? I'm not sure. Um, I tried using fire arrows before on stuff and it didn't work, so I'm not sure. Oh fuck, now we're in trouble. Woo! And I do have a fairy on me, but I would prefer not to use it. I would prefer just to not die right now and get away from here. 
At least I'm a lot faster. Hope that didn't work aim-wise. Oh, look. My sickle is badly damaged, but look, here's just one guy I can deal with. What I would prefer is if they would come and try to fight me one at a time. Okay, so we're gonna try a fire arrow now, and the fire arrows aren't equipped, unfortunately. Let's try these. Oh, don't shoot your sickle. Ooh. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh no, I don't even have a a thing equipped, that's why. Let's put this claymore on, but that's a two-handed. I'm not gonna be able to use my shield, but we'll try it. And it's so slow, but very powerful. Well, that's good. It works. Now we have lots of fangs and horns. A few arrows. I'll try to farm this guy's arrows. So that I can turn them back onto him. No, his arrows are disappearing now, I think. A boko bat. Okay. Hey, Crypteria. Here's the horns. Okay, we'll get this guy just by climbing this. He won't be able to do anything. There we go. Oh, that's not going to be able to be opened until I kill this last guy, I think. He's waiting for me. But he wasn't prepared. <laughs> okay, I bet we're going to get a single amber. Okay. Hey, Mardok. <laughs> I breathed in my tea. Hey, Fly Guy. And Bart. Okay, it's an opal this time, not bad. I should light this cook fire, um, but the only way that I know how is to use my fire arrow. I don't think that my torch will come out lit. Or do I even have a torch? Maybe not. <clears throat> Let's double check that it's not somewhere else. Um, how much longer will I be on? Um, until, I think until probably three more hours, roughly. Gatling gun, red rose, and milk, that's what you're having? I'm having Earl Grey. So no more treasures in this area. We're going to keep heading in this direction. Maybe we can grab that horse. I would also like to see what's glowing over there. You have jasmine tea obliterator? Nice. I was having uh, jasmine green tea yesterday. Oh. 
these bats. They have one part of them, the eyeball, I think, that is valuable, but the wing is relatively invaluable. Oh! This guy. Oh, fuck, I hit the horse! I didn't mean to. Use my super attack. You went to a sushi place nearby and you were in the mood for some tea. I love the tea at sushi places. Pause up, you've got white hot chocolate. Mmm. With a, t a chai tea bag. Good idea. Get back here, horse. Oh! He kicked me! That is such a nice looking horse, too. I like that there was like a big collection of travelers' claymores just for my taking. <laughs> oh, what are those? Oh, snails, nice. Sneaky river snails. Okay, now we're at Fort Hateno. And there's a fire there. And is that a good guy? Mm, hopefully. This looks like a guy who's going to try to fight me again, honestly. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't. I was praying for the souls of the warrior and, that, and all who died here at Fort Hateno. That's totally a different thing. You're welcome to join me if you want. Sleeping? Okay, that's a pretty enlightened thing to say for such a young kid. Fort Hateno was <clears throat> the last line of defense between Hateno Village and the terrible tragedy all those years ago. If not for this fort and the soldiers who held the line here, Hyrule as we know it might be gone entirely. It's our duty as the survivors to pray that those who gave their lives find peace and to pass on the story of the warrior. Okay, so let's... Co we could sit here, but we're also going to cook some stuff. Uh, Stamella Shroom. This is super important. I do need stamina restoring stuff, so we'll hold a few of these. <clears throat> and see what we make. What do we get? Energizing Mushroom Skewer. Perfect. Let's make another one of those. With four this time. <laughs> Another one, perfect. So now we'll make one of these and with a high, couple high real bass. And what else would go in here? Um, a pepper and an apple. Let's see what happens when we cook this. <laughs> Spicy simmered fruit, sweet. Mid-level cold resistance. Resistance. I should really stop doing putting the peppers and stuff because the cold resistance right now is pretty useless to me. I should save those. So I'm gonna cook these radishes too. Oh fuck! I didn't just eat that, did I? Always press the wrong button. Okay, hold and cook. You live in Manhattan? Nice place, Derpy. <laughs> Hardy fried wild greens, okay. So these Bokoblin guts, uh, we shouldn't cook those. Um, boost your movement speed when seeds are cooked into a dish. I did like actually um, that movement speed bonus that I got. That was pretty nice. And this Hyrule herb also restores hearts. We'll do a couple of these and try just to see what they make together first. <laughs> ah, simmered fruit, okay. So I think that we've got a few now and we're gonna sit by the fire until morning. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll be nice and pretty out. 
And it is. This guy is still sleeping. Here's a guy to talk to. Oh wait, I saw a beehive over here that I wanted. Oh, not using that. And there's no bees. Yoink. No bees here either. It's too early for bees. So where'd that dude go? There he is. Oi. The name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter if you get my oh. drift. Go far to the north up to Akala and you'll find a man who deals in guardian parts. He's half my business, truth to be told. As long as he's in the market, I can keep treasure hunting until I get my big break. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interest in guardian remains? Um, we'll ask him if we can sell something to him, maybe. Ooh. What do you want to sell? How about the guardian parts? Maybe we will wait. We'll find out what he has <laughs> to sell. Okay, he sells these at quite a price. Weird. Oh. For now, farewell. I like everyone here, they're very polite. <laughs> Oops. Let's equip the sickle so we can cut some of this grass down. Or did I break the sickle? I must have. I do like how the music is starting. It was really, really silent the first couple hours of the game and it's really starting to just slowly introduce some. Oh, stopped already. Jellies are always popping out of the trees. Whoa, that is a full apple tree. How do we get these ones? Oops. Maybe it would be better just to cut the tree down. Good night, Horst. Oh, fuck, don't do that, Link. I thought I took these. I wanted to take those fire arrows off. There. Now we can't do that. Oh, look at that. Perfect. a really unsustainable way to harvest apples. There is a worn looking book here. Would you like to read it? Yeah, let's see. Okay, goodbye, Crypteria. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Okay, pierce its gaze, so... Shoot an arrow into its eye. It'll let us sleep in other people's beds too, that's funny. Yeah, let's go fight those guys. Okay, so what's a good way to get them? I do see two... Explosive barrels over there. Oh, shit. They saw me. I need to now put the fire arrows back on, and if I can somehow shoot those... Oh, my soldier's bow is broke. Great. 
We'll have to use Boko Bo instead. That didn't work. I'm gonna have to go back in the water. I don't think that they can chase me in the water. Or maybe they won't. Oh my. Wow, this axe is a one hit? That's great. Okay, let's throw a bomb at them. I want them to come and run into it. that I could have done the fun way of exploding those barrels, but I just couldn't hit them. I just don't want him to accidentally hit them. 